My name is Elise and I have a 2020 Spirit Deluxe Casita and I'd just like to show you guys what I've done with it. So first of all we've changed some of the paint. Um, I did paint all the cabinets uh, green. If you come on in. It does have a little bathroom that's a wet bath. So it's pretty nice spacious. And we did a couple of modifications um, for my husband and I. The Spirit Deluxe comes with um, several configurations where you can do a full-size bed or have a bigger dinette area there. And this also changes to a small dinette, which we've changed to a bed. So this is one of the first mods is um this is where my husband sleeps and this is actually a mattress that we purchased off of Amazon. It's a Millard six inch mattress, which we kind of cut, covered, and upholstered. So this is his area. And then over here, we originally had the full size bed down all the time, but we had to do the crawl over, so we changed that to a dining area and a twin bed back there. This was the original gray, by the way. And um, then we needed a table. So we bought the Lagoon table from Lagoon and it swivels completely around. So if I don't want the table in the way, I put it right here and I can sleep. We can push it back here and both of us can kind of sit this way. And then we can also bring it to the dining area like that and then we can both sit and eat dinner at the table. We still have the board from the original dinette and what we do is if we do need this into a full-size bed for some reason we have boards underneath that we pop across and then we've made some cushions out of the cushions that came with Casita and they go down in here. So I still can convert this into a full-size bed at any time. We did add a couple little, um, just different hooks, and as well as in the bathroom. Casita just had the one bar across here, so we've changed out some of the hooks. Another mod that we did was um, the closet. We ordered through Katie's, Katie's Closet Casita, I believe it's called. We have the shelving system in here, which is really nice because we can store all our stuff. We still have places to hang stuff and it gives us much more storage options. So the table that came with the Casita, they're all made out of the MDF wood. They look just like this. So we did originally paint them and then I found some, there were three boards at Lowe's and I really like the patterns in the boards. So we ended up sticking them together, securing them on the back. I did do a light stain of, I think it was wal walnut on them and then we experimented with that resin coating. So the kitchen, the Casita did come with a two burner stove. This is a drying mat that I covered to match, so I have matching little cloths. Oops. It comes up right here, and it does have a hook to secure that when you're cooking. And over here, I did add a backsplash to the kitchen, so it's not just the plain white. And then I have all my spices. I pretty much duplicated everything I cook with at home. So I can cook whatever I want when I'm out. This is a bamboo cutting board which serves as a sink cover. The Casita did come with a hard plastic one, but I prefer this one much better. If you're working here, it drops right in here and I have an extra prep table. Um, if you need somewhere to sit stuff, you have extra storage also. So um, the Casita, when I first started getting them, I wasn't sure what to do, but I did all my research and I knew that I wanted a Casita after everything I looked at. So when I ordered from the factory, I ordered from Casita Travel Trailers. I ordered my Casita and I wasn't really sure what to get, so I went with every option. That way I was covered. One option was the microwave, and I have found that we really don't use the microwave at all. So we are probably going to remove the microwave and seal this off for storage because it is a large area for storage. So that's one of our mods that we're going to do. The refrigerator is great. It runs on gas, propane, or electricity. Um, as you can see, it's packed with food. 
it holds everything we can think of. We've been here for almost a week and we still have tons of food. So it's great, um, stays nice and cold. Um, it's got plenty of storage. We have like utensils up here for cooking. We have some of our food storages up here. And there are some cabinets we don't even have stuff in. So there is plenty of storage in these little guys. Actually, the factory TV that comes with Casita is a DC TV, which is nice. Um, and it's usually mounted here. But um, we wanted a smart TV, so I bought a little Vizio. They're like $100. We mounted it here. And then I did mount my two Bose speakers using the VHB tape by 3M. And um, it's worked great out here. Without shore power, it doesn't work unless I run my generator. But um, we can screencast anything from our phones right to the TV and watch it also, which is a nice asset. So as far as um, heat and air conditioning, um, we live in Arizona in the southwest part and it gets, you know, 120. So when I got the Casita, it is plugged in full time at my home and we did run the air conditioning since we've had it. Um, it works great. It stays nice and cold in here. And um, as far as the heat, the gas heat works perfect. So you can have a couple options. You can use your gas heat. And then it also has um, the heater down here, your furnace. And I tell you, this thing will cook you out. It gets so warm. So it works perfect. And then for chilly mornings when I just need to take the chill off, I do have a little baby heater that I purchased off of Amazon. And I plug it into my Jackery down here for about 30 minutes. It runs perfectly. Jackery is a 1500 and I do have a couple solar panels that we travel with. So I can always keep that charged for us. So we have a constant source of electricity or whatever we need. The Casita did come with um, the, the fantastic fan. It's really nice because I can turn it on and it will suck all the warm air out. If it's cool outside, you can reverse the direction and it'll pull all the air right inside and cool your trailer off nicely. We did also install some little LED lights are controlled by this. They have all sorts of different colors, but they do need shore power or the generator to work. But they're installed around here and I can change them to any color I want. And um, the outside tour of our casita, we do have the sliding screen door for a quick pass through. We did reinforce with some grating from Lowe's because we have dogs and I didn't want them digging through or something. So we did reinforce the screen door with this. Um, I got it from one of the Casita decorating ideas on Facebook. And this piece just fits right in. You just kind of bow the metal and it drops right in those channels. It does come with the window louvers. You can have them open or you can close them for privacy in the evening. So on this side of the Casita, we do have the electric tongue jack, which is an option. And we do have the two propane tanks. And then I did order the Stromberg Carlson rack, which has been great for storage things. We can carry extra propane gas, our generator up here. And we purchased the Blackstone for cooking. This is another great option from Casita, are these solar panels. about travel trailers and stuff I knew I wanted a good quality trailer and I wanted something that would last and not fall apart and um, I started looking I looked at a lot of the Jayco's um, I looked at pop-up tents I looked at little pull-along trailers I looked at rooftop tents I looked at everything the resale value on a lot of the newer trailers that aren't the fiberglass is not as good. And then I narrowed it down to a Casita or a Scamp. And I just really liked the layout of the Casita. It was so much nicer to me. And then 
I started researching the casitas, a different layout. You can get some with bunk beds in the back, you can get the full bed, you can get ones with captain chairs, so you can go with or with bath without bathrooms. Um, they were just so nice. And they don't fall apart like some of the traditional trailers. The siding doesn't come apart. The roofs don't have to be resurfaced. They just are really sturdy little things. Um, they're pretty aerodynamic. So they're not like the broad-sided trailers where the wind's going to hit them. It just kind of rolls off them. So it was a really nice option. At one point, we um, had a lady trying off us 35000 for the trailer. And I only bought it in 2020, which was you know, not too long ago, but I didn't pay that. I only paid 24 with every option possible. So um, they do hold their value. You can definitely sell them for more than you paid for them. Also, the thing I found about casitas is they're not just a trailer per se. People have an attachment to them. They make them very cute. They're very creative with them. Um, they go to gatherings like this. Um, it's almost like a following. You're like a little family with the casitas. The factory was great. My salesman, great. Um, his name is Jonathan. If you need a casita, definitely contact him. He was great. Um, we actually had it delivered because I didn't want to drive clear to Rice, Texas, which is 1,500 miles. Yeah, they had a driver. Just bring it right to my home. He was good. His name was Frank. He went over everything, walked through the whole trailer, showed us how it worked. Um, so the customer service was amazing with them too. And you don't always have that with some of the traditional trailer shops. But. Not sure if you want a casita or a scamp? Find out why we sold our scamp and bought a casita in this video. If you'd like to see the inside of our casita independence, check out this video.